Hi guys, welcome to Stanasha. So I hope uh, the long-awaited video is here. So we are going to see secret of pivot first book trading continuation in this video. So we are stepping into the chapter seven. Chapter seven is nothing but the introducing the camera law equation. So here in this chapter, this chapter is very small, and uh, but in depth is given in next next chapters. Let's see how this chapter goes, and this video will be of. Uh, uh, summarizing what all we have, what all videos have made, and what all you have learned, and then a short video on what is a camera law equation, who invented it, and what he has done with that, and all those things will be seen in this video. Come, let's go into this video. So, the secret of pivot pass uh, book has started with the uh, has started with some several number of uh, videos covered. So, let's go on to the. Uh, Let's go and check what all we have learned in that uh, secret of pivot was. So the first chapter started with understanding the markets. So here in understanding the markets, uh, he will be telling us like how the market behaves, what what should be the price of a stock, and how it reacts when it comes to a support and resistance. And then he tells about types of buyers and sellers, responsive buyers, initiative buyers, responsive sellers, and initiative sellers. And then he told about types of market days. In there are six types of market days. One is trend day, double distribution day, and then typical day, expanded typical day, trading range day, and sideways day. Watch all these videos. I have made each and every video, and kindly watch those videos so that you will be able to understand what all these types of videos. And then finally, he moved on to chapter two, which is engaging the setup. In engaging the setup, he majorly concentrated on the reversal zones. Like the reversal candlesticks, which will be helpful for a reversal. So, for example, there are several reversal setup: big reversal setup, extreme reversal setup, outside reversal setup, doji reversal setup. All these were covered in chapter two, and everything has been clearly explained in each and every videos. So, if you watch the description in this video, you could see which all uh, the parts are covered in which all types of uh, videos. And then uh, in chapter three and four, I skipped because it includes market profile and uh, order flow, but it needs some uh, good amount of experience, so that is why I skipped it. And I moved on to uh, chapter five, introducing floor pivot, floor pivot, floor pivot, floor points. So in floor points, he just explained about what is pivots, uh, how the pivot should be, how he has included uh, uh, the R three, R four, and S four, and all these things will be covered in this chapter. And basics of pivot trend analysis also has been covered. And in chapter six only, we covered a major part of central pivot range. In central pivot range, he will be explaining in depth details. And there are seven types of two-day pivot range relationship: higher value, overlapping higher value, lower value, overlapping lower value, unchanged value, outside value, inside value. All these will be covered in that. And then here we will be stepping into pivot with forecasting. And in pivot, pivot with forecasting, that is out of an indicator. Based on that indicator, we will be trying to understand how the market is going to be. And then we covered what is, uh, uh, sorry, what is pivot trend analysis, pivot range trend analysis, and then we went for magnet trade. So magnet trade is the last topic which we have covered in uh, the chapter six in the central pivot. Now we are stepping into chapter seven, which is nothing but the Uh, introducing the Camarilla equation. So many people were asking about what is Camarilla. Kindly include Camarilla in your uh, analysis so that it will be helpful. So that is what we are going to step into. So he, every chapter he starts with the Jesse Lever quote and the same thing he has uh, started with here. When I couldn't play according to my system, which was based on study and experience, I went and gambled. So what is trying to say is like he is. For example, you have made a proper strategy. You have studied and you have experienced a lot. But if you are not going according to the proper strategy or the system which you have defined, then that means, then that means you are going into gambling. So that is what is simply it means by. So he just introduces the camera like camera like pivots with an um, with an story of how it was told to others. For example, he was uh, having a trader boot camp and in that he was uh, uh, teaching some people and that people asked like some lines were extra there and people asked him what was those. And he just told them like it is a camera lab pivot. So the camera lab pivot was discovered by Dick Scott. Dick Scott in 1989. 
but uh, it is a camera lens equation is a, a very beautiful one and it gives a good profit in the market also but what happens is that nick scott did not uh, disclose the equation to the public so he just kept it secret but what traders did is like you know right nowadays traders are like very smart they reverse engineered it and they found the formula of what is that uh, camera lens pivots so as per the experience of uh, uh, pivot boss what he tells is like uh, his pivot points works very perfectly and whenever he includes camarella equation or camarella pivots in, into it it adds more advantage also for him so that is why he was interested in it and there were many websites in the olden days were reliable on camarella equation and they were making and they were charging it but uh, honestly pivot was and this book would have mean would have given you a clear clarity of what is camarella and what you need to do on that so the major the more traders Uh, that trade by the same equation that more prominence these levels will carry so what does this line this line means for example uh, in earlier time for example cpr was there from a long time but we people came to know may- maybe a recent of maybe a two years or three years maximum so we were not sure of what is actually happening correct so now what we will be knowing is like okay this point here is a cpr range is there so that is why it has got rejected here s1 is there that is why it has got rejected so we were able to understand the levels of why it is getting rejected or why it is going why it is giving a, a sideways market over a range so that is what we are able to understand so that is that is the same thing he is going to apply it over here if the formula is kept secret and if no one knows about the formula and only a few people are going to trade about that formula then what happens is like it will not get more effective it gets more effective when more number of people started using it clear when a lot of people started using the cpr when a lot of people started respecting the pivot points resistance and support what happens is like the formula gets more effectiveness until and unless kept a secret it will not be more effective it will be effective if more people are started to increase so this is all about the content in this video this chapter is very very small so i'll just make it into two or three parts so that you can understand it very easily so before watching the camera lab pivots try to understand what is the uh, other videos which i have covered so that you will be able to understand what is what so in the next video i'll be telling you in depth of standard camera lab equation and what is the formula and how you have to act on it and what are the other supports and resistance in camera lab equation all this will be covered in the next video so stay tuned for more videos if you feel the content is good kindly give a like and i request you all of you to watch the previous video so that you will be in in touch and then uh, if you have any queries do let me know in the comment section thanks a lot stay tuned for more videos